Hi, my name is Meredith Staggers, and I was a patient of Dr. Cochran's. In August of 2022, um, they found a brain aneurysm, and um, it all started when I had suffered from migraines whenever I was pregnant with my last two daughters, and they were just like these debilitating migraines, pain over my right eye, but then they would just magically disappear around like the 25 week mark. And so I just figured that it was something pregnancy related. So everything changed when I was driving and I started having a migraine. I was on the phone with my mom and my lips started going numb, my tongue went numb and I started to not be able to feel my hands and my feet. So I immediately pulled over and you know, within a few seconds, I was getting off the phone with her and trying to call my husband and I couldn't see my phone screen. I couldn't um, you know, even see the screen in my car to be able to you know, get a hold of him. And once I finally did, um, I, my speech was totally gone. Um, I could barely um, put together one word. And uh, so after, you know, 10 minutes or so, he figured out where I was and um, met me. Um, we were like in the Memorial City area and he took me straight to Memorial Hermann ER. And he had to pick me up out of the car, put me in his truck and we went, it was, um, it was super scary. I couldn't figure out what was going on and why I was feeling this way. I never experienced anything like this. She seems like she's just having a migraine. So at that point we decided to go home and, um, you know, sleep it off. And typically the next day, like I'll feel better after a migraine. So we did that. And then, um, the following days as, I, anytime I would stand up or like get out of my car, I felt this really weird feeling in my head. It was this like, all of a sudden my ears would pop, like almost like I was in an airplane, but then I would have this like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh feeling like cursing through my head and I could not figure out what it was. And then the auras would start and then the migraines would continue and then there would be the cycle, but it wasn't as bad as the time that landed me um, in the emergency room. Then four or five days later, I was at uh, my OB and um, I started having, with my baby uh, at this point, she was a little um, under three months old. And I, in the waiting room, I started having the migraine again. And I knew by now, you know, like once everything started going numb, like I knew that there was something wrong. So I immediately called my husband, told him it was happening again, and he met me at the doctor's office. And while I was in the exam room, you know, I lost my speech. I couldn't even see anything right in front of my, um, my face. I couldn't see my baby. I, you know, was totally, totally panicking. And they told me that I was having, um, that the migraine triggered a panic attack. And so they gave me um, a prescription medication to help with my anxiety and um, sent me home. So we waited until I was uh, able to leave. We went home and then that is when the most unimaginable like a headache like the worst headache I've ever had in my entire life started happening and I felt like I just had to hold the side of my head because it just hurt so bad I started throwing up from the pain and pretty much everything just kind of went downhill from there and my husband was like we were supposed to leave on a flight the next day and he was like we're canceling the trip we are not going and we need to figure out what is going on with you because this is not like something is not right. And I knew at that point something, you know, was there was something more wrong than just a panic attack or just your, you know, average migraine. So um, we were able to get in for an MRI the following day at a imaging center. So we went there, had the, um, 
the MRI done with contrast. And while we were on the way home, stuck in traffic, we got a call and they told me that I needed to go home, pack a bag and go to the hospital because I had a brain aneurysm. And we went and checked in to uh, Memorial Hermann Southwest. And so that's where we went and uh, we, that's where we met Dr. Cochran. I became his patient there and we went through all the testing that day and the next day just to confirm the brain aneurysm. And, um, it was around six millimeters, uh, behind my left eye, which is what was causing all the different vision issues and some of the stuff that I was experiencing. So I checked in then, um, we had my first angiogram and based on all my symptoms, Dr. Cochran explained that it was, you know, most likely leaking and, um, we created a plan of action. And from the time that I met him, he made my husband and I feel so comfortable and we were so appreciative that, um, that he didn't, you know, tell us to, go home and to wait it out or anything like that. Like he looked at me and he was like, you're a young mom and you have little kids. Like you can't have something, you know, hanging over your head where you don't know, um, if and when it's going to rupture. And I appreciated his outlook on, um, on everything. And so we, um, we started medicine to prep me for the surgery. And then four days later, I had the flow diverter um, put in through um, an angiogram. And it was so amazing because I was able to go home and hug my kids the next day. And um, I just had my six month checkup angiogram and my aneurysm is 95% gone. Praise the Lord. So I am super grateful for Dr. Cochran and everything that he did. So I am healthy and able uh, to be here for my three little girls.